guess what? It's almost summer. You see out there? It's dark. It's nine o'clock. Before too long, it'll be light at nine o'clock. It's a true story. Old Mom Sunday night. This is the last Old Mom Sunday night of the year. Yep, yeah, it's true. No, that's a lie. <laughs> but Old Mom Sunday nights aren't going to be as much fun when there's no school. The best part about Old Mom Sunday night is that Old Mom is tired on Sunday night, but Old Mom has a reprieve tomorrow because, you know, the teachers are in session. But after this week... No more teachers. I mean, can you imagine how excited the teachers are? I bet one of the best parts about being a teacher is that you feel like a kid getting out of school every year. Right? I mean, I bet they're so excited. Like, the kids, like, they're not going to have as many kids this week. And then by next week, I think they're out I mean, granted, they have to go home to their own children, which is clearly not a not a real treat. I mean, it is a treat. What's wrong with you? You're already in bed? Oh, I'm about to be in bed. I got my robe on. I just took a shower with Amos and got his hair washed. Yes, we went to a street festival today. North Number 4 had a street festival. They had Bouncy House, and we went, Amos performed on a stage alone at a leftover wedding tent. Evidently, there was a wedding yesterday. And um, I did think to myself, it was a big tent, a dance floor, a stage, and a bunch of tables and chairs. And I thought to myself, you know, if somebody had a wedding, you could like plan a party the next day and use all their stuff for free. That'd be so smart. I'm not that organized. Nor am I actually having a party. You're from Boone Jail in Boone? Oh, you're from Boone, and you're asking if I was in jail in Boone. Well, yeah, I went to jail in Boone. Don't judge me. It's hard to say goodbye to your kids. So we wrote, um, Amos and I wrote letters today to his teachers, his two teachers, his EC teacher and his traditional second grade teacher. And I tell you, I just, I could like turn into a big puddle of mush if I let myself. I hope you have a lot of new subscribers. Oh, that's so nice. I don't, oh, I put my subscriber link up. Um, I tell you what I don't have is teenagers that really appreciate me. I went, I'm getting confirmed in the Episcopal Church with my middle son and my daughter. And we were, went to practice tonight. And I kept put my arm around the back of my son Russell's seat. And literally he was like acting like I was like a plague on him. Like my 17 year old doesn't mind it as much, but the 15 year old really does not like me to touch him, which then just means you need to keep pushing through, you know? I think. What else do we got? What else we got? Sunday night. So we have two days of school left. We're skipping the third day. That's part of their teacher present. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to go to the water park. So we're in North Carolina. Typically, June in North Carolina is hot as hell. Like Michigan, they just said 90 degrees. Okay. It cooled off of Michigan. Okay. It is... Don't talk about Target and blah, blah, blah. Is that a challenge? I'm not talking about Target. I'm talking about other crap tonight. But maybe I'll talk about it in the morning. Maybe I'll just talk about you. Um, no, you made me forget what I was freaking saying. No, we get confirmed next week. So we had practice today, and then we had dinner at the, our priest house tonight, which was super fun, And but it's cold. So it is freaking freezing in North Carolina. It's always 90 degrees here, always, all summer. 
by now, my little Fanny is jumping off the dock, swimming. I'm in Andale Homestead having a ball. No, no siree, Bobby. Uh-uh. It is cold. Coldy, coldy, coldy. I wore a sweatshirt today downtown in June in eastern North Carolina. My hair isn't even curly yet. I mean, I'm telling you. So we're supposed to go to the water park on Wednesday. Um, it's called H2OBX, and it's in Currituck. I mean, I, I can't go if it's cold. I have my limits. I disagree with you on the transgender. On the transgender. Is that like a group of people? On the transgender. It is against my belief. It is against my belief. My belief. Your belief. Belief. You mean belief. And I'm concerned that they are brainwashing our children. So, Deanne, I'm going to tell you what I say to my mother. And I love my mother a lot. But my mother loves to use the phrase... They. And I wonder who they are. And so my mother will say, like, they said it's going to get cold. Or they said there's going to be a lot of traffic. Or they said you better watch out for the monkeypox. And I'll say, Mom, who is they? So I'll say the same thing to you. Who is they? Who are these amazing experts that are out trying to gobble up your children? I have four children. I've been a mother for 17 years. It has never occurred to me one time to go into a store and see a toy and think someone is trying to groom my child. That sounds like the biggest bunch of balarkey. What does groom even mean? Here's what it means to me. I think grooming comes from when um, clergy members will, like, you know, historically, when we had Catholic priests, we obviously had a big problem, um, would have altar boys and there would be grooming. I think you might have teachers doing some grooming. Um, you might have some cousins or neighbors or babysitters. I generally don't think like Barbie or Lego are grooming my kids. But that's just me. Call me crazy. You bring me delight and crack me up. Oh, you need to be a subscriber. The other thing is, and I keep saying this, but I mean it. So today I was downtown. And so Amos went to see A Little Mermaid. I'm sure somebody thinks that's like straight from the devil. Because I watched another episode today of The Dukers. It's called Shiny Happy People. Oh, it's real good. Shiny Happy People talks about all this. I mean, it's a full-on cult. And so they were talking about how they like burned all their Disney stuff. I'm just not a deep thinker. If I watch The Little Mermaid or Smurfs or what else were they talking about in that show? Oh, they said that the Cabbage Patch dolls, they're like the ruler of the Dukers, said that the Cabbage Patch dolls were naughty. Like they had Satan in them. I mean, that stuff just sounds freaking funny to me. Satan in a Cabbage Patch doll? Like, is that a really a thing? Like, if you have, if you think Satan is in a Cabbage Patch doll, well, one, you should exercise every day because you have a lot of time. Two, you must have a, pine, a PhD because you are using a lot of time in your head to think. And three, you should... Not ever, ever, ever tell anybody that because they're going to think you're nuts. Nuts. Nutsy, nutsies. So I saw a lady today, and this is what I thought. God, I hope she's not watching. It's downtown. Oh, I dropped Amos off at Little Mermaid with our nanny. 
they went to see that because I had confirmation practice and a dinner right after. So they went to see the movie and we went to do this. And to me, grooming is combing your hair. <laughs> it's funny. And then reprogrammed. I like to reprogram some people I know. I see them. So I take him to Little Mermaid. And I'm thinking like, I bet there are people that are like, this isn't safe. I don't like this. There's a woman. And now don't, I can't take the comments. If anybody tells me that they have a disabled dog or paralyzed dog, then I'm sorry. But most dogs that I'm about to talk about don't have disabilities. There was a woman, a young girl-ish, 20s, pushing her dog in a hot pink stroller. A dog had like hair bows. It was white and floofy. Its toenails were painted because they were kind of up. So the dog did not appear to have a disability. The dog was just Alicia Silverstone from Clueless. And because I'm trying to, you know, behave myself and be a good Christian and be nice, I didn't ask her any questions. So instead, I just thought mean thoughts. And I was like, no, me meanwhile, I have taken Amos today to, what have I done with Amos today? Oh, I took him to the street festival. He played on the stage. He sang. He jumped in the jumpy house. He got upset because there was no cotton candy. Because, you know, if he goes to something one time, then the next time it better all be the same. Then we walked to get ice cream at the drugstore. And then I forgot it was Sunday and the drugstore's not open on Sunday. So then we were walking to the gas station, the bridge turn. They're not open on Sunday. So I had my husband come and get him and the service dog. And then I walked with my big two boys downtown. We had burritos, chit-chatted, la, 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 la. It's been a busy day. And I kept thinking like, what if I had such a footloose and fancy free life that I had a dog in a stroller? I really just feel a need to talk about that. I'm not judging any of you who put dogs in strollers. I just, I just don't understand. Like that is, that is like, to me, like I feel like I can relate more to people that have their own helicopter to fly to the beach on the weekends. Maybe because I actually would like that. <laughs> but if I had a life that was so free that I went out and bought a stroller for a dog. I just, I, I wonder, I wish that person would do an old mom Sunday night video. <laughs> no, am I crazy? Dogs need walks. But do they need air? Anyway, I've seen cats in strollers, too. Well, cats, I can almost see kind of putting a cat in a stroller because our cat won't walk on a leash. Not that you need a cat on a leash, but I could maybe see that. Like if my 13-year-old took the cat in a stroller to each his own. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me. I'm not canceling people who push dogs in strollers. I, I, we use a stroller for our old dog with health issues. So see, that makes sense. But, but here's what I would think. My thought would be like, if you have health issues, your ass is staying in the house. <laughs> because again, I have an Amos. So I'm chasing Amos, right? So it's all relative to what you have going on in your life. Some people dye their dog's hair. So I've had a dog with health problems. They wouldn't get to go on walks. What's wrong with loving your animal? It's a free country. Yes, it is. It is a free country, which means I'm allowed to lament the fact that I have a person with autism and I will never have the freedom or the thought or the say la vie attitude to put a dog in a stroller. 
because I'm dragging around a nine-year-old who is fast as freaking lightning. So it ain't happening. But I do admire it. I mean, I do feel a little jealous. I also feel jealous of, you know, J-Lo. I mean, what if you got, what if somebody fixed your food every day? I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't understand. What don't I, what else don't I understand? I don't understand. People that exercise early in the morning, I don't understand them. <laughs> My husband does. Oh, yeah, I should just quit now while I'm ahead. Now I'm going to be like, you need to exercise. Chasing Amos sounds like the title of a book. That would be a good title. We have leashes for our inside cats. Do you really? In case, wait, we have leashes for our inside cats in case there's an earthquake and your house falls down? Seriously? Who said that? Dar Spratt. I love the name Dar Spratt. In case there's an earthquake. Ah! Made me just drop the darn phone. In case there's an earthquake. That is awesome. You walk every morning and get the blood flowing. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that it's bad. What, what am I going to like berate people that are doing the right thing? I'm not saying it's bad. Maybe she can't have babies and walks the dog as a baby. Well, no, that's true. That might be it. I don't think if I had children, though, I would be walking the dog in the stroller. If I didn't have children, I would be on a trip or doing something fun. I would have so much money. Maybe I would have nothing. I don't know. Who knows? I'd probably be living with my parents and not married. Speaking of cat, that one keeps pissing all over the bathroom rug. We have an old cat, and I the old cat is not currently my favorite person. We used to walk our hamster on a leash. Seriously? Do you hold your phone the whole time of your videos? Yes, I do. This is my OnlyFans angle. Just kidding. I don't have only fans. I don't even know what it was, but I think it involves being naked, which would not help people. Thomas really gets up early and goes and exercises. He goes with people and he like runs and he rides a bicycle and he does something. Are you being a tad bit envious? Yes, I'm very envious. Wait, you mean envious of the people with the dogs and the strollers? No. I don't think I am. I'm envious of other things, but not that. The cat might have a UTI. The cat is old as hell. That's what's wrong with the cat. And fat. I don't know how you have a cat not be fat. Um, what else don't I understand? Exercise. Oh, I know. I don't understand people that don't have TV. Your cat might have a UTI. I don't think the cat has a UTI. If you don't, if you take the bath mat up, the cat does not pee in the house. The cat pees outside. The cat is lazy and doesn't want to go downstairs to use the litter box or go through the cat door. Cat, well, maybe I'll take the cat to the doctor. Tiptoe is young. I have two cats. This is Alley Cat. Alley. See? That's that cat. Yeah, Alley and Tiptoe. <laughs> I mean, this cat is fat as a pig. The stroller around the rest of us, my dog had a health condition. He could only walk short distances, so the stroller allowed the rest of us to keep walking. The other dog. Well, that's nice. That's very nice, Lori. I, and you know what? You walk your dog in a stroller to your delight. <clears throat> you go right ahead. 
I'm not going to judge you. I just, I don't think that dog stroller is in my future. But I mean, the, my parents have, they have a car trash can. A car trash can is also not in my future. Like the idea of a car trash can, that would require so much organizing and like scheduling. It's all I can do to get the darn trash cans to the curb. Like, why would you have a car trash can? But my car, you take the one McDonald's bag and then you just fill it with crap all week. And then every once in a while, when you go to the gas station, you dump it in there. Bobby. Yes, Muffin. Need to go to bed. Yes. Yes. You're all tucked in bed. You brushed your teethies. Well, let's get in Amos's. Let's uh, you're supposed to be in Amos's bed. Whose bed is this? Mommy's bed. Did you have a nice weekend? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many days left to school? We have two. Two days? <gasps> We're so excited. So excited. You know, it's just... I guess it's such a different life. Like even sometimes when I talk about Amos, people be like, well, it's just like that, you know, when you have any kids. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's just, it's so, let me tell my room. I don't wanna flash anybody, hang on. Everything is so different, you know? It's just, it's like you are in Just live in like constant chaos here. You, you're always, it's like I've been in toddlerhood for years, you know? And I'm, I'm going to be in toddlerhood for, I guess, a while longer. Like, I don't appear to be getting out of it anytime soon. And it's just been kind of big on my mind lately because my friends' kids are all Hi, getting mommy. older, you know? No, Good I do have some friends with little kids. Good night. How does he go to sleep with Mary? He gets in his bed and goes to sleep, but if I'm here, he likes to fall asleep in our bed. And then in the night, he ends up in our bed. Um, you know, and before I had Amos, I had three typical kids. And do you... Don't cut your hair. I'll come out here if I like it. Um, they never slept in my bed. They didn't dump toys out. They didn't run away. They slept through the night in their rooms. I mean, I was a good mama. I, I really had it down. And then Muffin here showed up. And then suddenly all those things I had given myself credit for, I realized didn't have anything to do with me. You know, so now I live this existence. <laughs> hey, Sparky. I live this existence where it's just like cliff jumping every day. So you do have to, I do have to giggle and laugh because some things are really hard. And if I don't laugh, then I would cry. So if I see somebody pushing a stroller with a dog in it, I mean, I downright like, hee-haw on the street because I'm like, oh my gosh, I've like chased him here and yonder. What if I was like, you know, I think I'll put the dog in a stroller because that will be fun. I mean, that's just not happening. But there are a lot of people that live lives that are different than mine. You know, there are kids that are making their own lunches in the morning and will be and like I can't leave him at home to go run somewhere, you know? And if I just had my big three, I would be pretty, like, 
footloose and fancy free, you know? But I, I do have him, and I love him, and I enjoy him. But I can still acknowledge what it's, that it's different. It's a different life, you know? And it, it's the, the best part about having Amos is that he's taught me that I am not the keeper of him, you know, like I don't make the rules. I don't, I don't have as much control. I think a lot of folks are out there living like they have, they think they're in charge, but you're really not in charge. You think you are, but you're not. And I didn't know that until I had him. And it's sort of a relief not to be in charge or to not to know you're not. I mean, there's very little that phases me. You know, I, it, it's just, there's very little, like, what? Amos lost two teeth tonight. He was sent to you for a reason. You know, I don't know if I believe that, but I think God was, I don't think Amos was a mistake. Um, I think he's wonderful. I think he makes our life so much richer and fuller and better. And I know that I am tired. But you know what? Like, I'm going to live. And I'll do things. And you might say, well, she has a nanny or she has a housekeeper. Or she has a this. Like, you know what I'll tell you? I am doing what I need to do to survive. And if I need to make videos and work and do whatever I need to do to have help and to keep my sanity, I will do it. You know? And I won't feel guilty about it. So even if all those little naysayers out there, sometimes people will be like, how is it when people, you know, criticize you? I'm like, honestly, I really don't care. I mean, what do I care? Usually when you look at somebody's profile picture that's criticizing you, <laughs> I've sort of just become evil, though. What part of North Carolina are you in? We're in eastern North Carolina. But my husband lived in Anger. I love that your name is Crystal Barefoot. My special needs little makes my life better, even when I want to pull my hair out. Yeah, you know, I just wouldn't. Stacy said, it's so empowering to hear you verbalize a lot of things we think, but don't say out loud. I know it makes me feel heard and validated. And I, oh, well, thank you for saying it to me because it helps me too. Because sometimes I wonder, like, are you just being a whiner? But I just want people to understand. Um, and I think my, I think my friends get it. They probably are sick of me hearing about it today, but like, my one friend was like, I said, I'm not going to the water park if it's cold. She was like, oh my gosh, I took the day off. You have to go. I was like, I can't take him to the water park if it's cold. Your ass is going to be in a dead chair while your teenagers are running loose. You would be drinking a margarita. I'm going to be going in the, the freaking wave pool all day. I'll freeze. You know, like, I still have the toddler at the water park. It's different. And my friends, for the most part, are like, or if we went to the street festival today and one friend got there and we were leaving. She was like, y'all had enough? I was like, yeah. You know, I didn't want to leave. I like to stay and visit with people. I am a social butterfly. But we try. I, um, my husband came and got him so I could stay there with the big boys a little longer. And then tonight my husband is playing tennis with my big three, and I'm home with him. You know, we just, we're just kind of riding like this. It's pretty good most of the time. How was tennis? Good. I had to go through the Dairy Queen drive-thru. Why? <laughs> no. Because they closed the kitchen, so I just had to walk through it. You walked through the drive-thru? Yeah. Taco Bell doesn't let you walk through. How did you get home? Dad driven. I thought Dad was playing tennis. He finished. Y'all are all done with tennis? No, Thomas and Russell are still there. Who are they playing with? 
Batch and Keaton and Molly and Jackson Warner. and Warner and maybe Cole and Russell. I don't know who else. That's a lot. I can't remember. Are you going to take a shower? Yeah. Can you um, pick me up at 11 o'clock? Because all my friends are leaving and I do not want to be the only one. Why don't you get a ride? Because everybody else lives out in the town. Well, how's Parker getting home? She's not. But you, that's not fair. I'm not, I'm not going to school tomorrow. I'm going to say something. But I have to go to give my Chromebook and charger and I'll still get a fine. That's the only reason. Well, get daddy to drop it off at school. No. I'm not going to go out and pick you up at school at 11 a.m. It takes 30 minutes to get Is there. Well, he might. What about 12? Will you pick me up? No, I'm not. So Blair's middle school is out basically like going to New Zealand. And it's 30 minutes out there and 30 minutes back. And if we have to take her in the morning. Well, you can go and stay all day. Your teachers might enjoy your help. No, I, don't, I can't. I'm not riding that bus. Well, you don't have to ride the bus. Please, your schedule, you said your schedule is free for the afternoon. Then we can have a mother-daughter lunch. No, no, I'm not having any no, mother-daughter lunch. No, we can get our lunch. nails done for confirmation. No, I'm not getting my nails done. No, I'm getting nothing. I am working tomorrow. I have two days before this. No, no. I have to work. I have things to do with your brother. We have to work on college essays and applying for the Air Force Academy. And you're going to go to school and that's going to be your job tomorrow and Tuesday. You're done on Tuesday. I'm not entertaining you tomorrow. I'm not taking you to lunch. I'm not doing I know, nails. I was going to hang Angela. She's not going to school because they don't have to get her from next door. That's fine. But I, I am busy. So you'll pick me up as long as I'm not I'm not out. picking you up. I'm not driving an hour in the middle of the day. Shh. Lay down. You're waking Amos up. You're waking him up. You're screaming. Lay down. Shh. Well, go on. Out of here. Good night. Good night, Muffin. Get out. Get out. Good night, Mommy. Good night. Good night, Amos. You have two weeks of school left. I'm lunch with Daddy. Shoot. Two days left. Two days. And there's a fireplace poker in my bedroom that doesn't have a fireplace. I mean, this is this is what happens every year. This is like Christmas break. You get ready. You think, oh, it's going to be wonderful when they get out. No, no. It's, it's not wonderful. It is heard. Heard. People want to eat. They need rock worse. Like cleaning up dog do? That'd be fun. He loves to pick it up with his hands. <laughs> I mean, he puts his own shoes on. He puts his backpack away. He puts his folder out. He helps pack his lunch. He makes muffins. But I mean, he doesn't take out the trash. Like when I think of chores, I think of things that are like, you know, drudgery. He puts his clothes in the laundry basket, but he loves to do all those things. I got the cat just came in here. The cat's going to come in here and pee in my room. Okay. Old mom's Sunday night. Old mom's going night-night.